What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae, and it's finally that time. We are jumping into the 10 days of a mucus-free diet with the Mucoid Plaque Cleansing Drink. So as promised, I'm going to give you a few quick and simple blender recipes to help spice up your next 10 days. I know a lot of you might seem like, oh no, I'm not sure what to do, but I promise these recipes are sure to please. Okay. But first I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to show you how to make hemp milk. It literally takes less than five minutes and we're going to be using it and some of the other sauces that we're making. I'm going to start off with the ingredients. You only need five simple ingredients and we're going to make two different kinds of hemp milk. Get your spring water, some dates, some pure vanilla extract, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and of course your hemp hearts. First we start with our hemp seeds and the reason why we're using hemp seeds instead of nuts is because one, it's a whole lot quicker. And number two, your hemp seeds are chock full of omegas three and six, full of iron and full of protein and that's what you need. So we're gonna start off with a half a cup of hemp seeds to three cups of spring water. We're gonna put in a pinch of salt and then blend it up. Just like that, it's done. Literally, I blended this for maybe two minutes. I'm gonna pour this into a container and the number two hemp milk that we're gonna make, the only difference is we're going to be adding a little bit of the vanilla extract and some dates to give it flavor. This plain hemp milk we would use for something like our macaroni and cheese, our vegan mayo, and things like that. The sweeter one we'll definitely be using for our chia pudding and a few other things that I have in mind. Okay, so while I'm putting my mic back on, I'm gonna be real honest with you. There was a little bit of date chunks left in the bottom of the blender and I ate them I know I know fasting but I just want to be honest with you I ate them so anyway rinsed out my blender no I didn't wash it keep your judgment to yourself wash out the blender and now since we've already made our milks up next I'm going to show you the cheesy sauce here's our ingredients we have Brazil nuts nutritional yeast a couple of seasonings vegetable broth and pink Himalayan sea salt. This is all you need. I ain't gonna say no names, but somebody licked it clean. It's really delicious. It's something that you can use when you're making your vegan mac. You can use it to pour over vegetables. It's just a really good mixing. If you find some black bean tortilla chips that you happen to like, great for that too. There's all kind of options that you can use with this cheese sauce, but now we're going on to sauce number two, barbecue sauce. Liquid smoke, Dijon mustard, pink Himalayan sea salt, some garlic, agave vegetable broth apple cider vinegar liquid aminos onion powder chili powder black pepper ginger and some all-purpose seasoning salt free 
The base for this recipe that I'm using is going to be a can of tomato sauce with a can of tomato paste. Usually your can of tomato sauce will be around 15 ounces and the tomato paste will be around six. I used organic, BPA-free, non-GMO, tomato sauce, tomato paste. So you can double it depending on you, but I'm gonna throw all of these ingredients here. I don't have exact measurements. see after I took it out of the blender I immediately put it into the saucepan and it'll stay in there for maybe 10 to 15 minutes taste it as you go so you can add your seasonings accordingly that heat is really what's going to seal in all of that flavor sauce number two is down up to sauce number three up next is an Asian this sauce. recipe all you'll need are some sesame seeds ginger garlic agave rice vinegar liquid aminos some tahini onion powder, black pepper, and ginger. The base of this recipe is tahini and liquid aminos. We're gonna start off by toasting the sesame seeds and then gradually add in the rest of the ingredients. Last but certainly not least is a delicious sweet treat. We are doing a Hawaiian sauce. So we're using frozen mango chunks, a half of a medium sized orange pepper, a little bit of vegetable stock, half a can of coconut milk, and a little bit of agave. We're gonna throw it in our blender. I already have my skillet heating up in that. I just have a little bit of grapeseed oil and some garlic getting warmed up on medium low heat. And then once this is done blending, I'm gonna pour it in, mix it up, and we'll be good to go. Woo! Finally done. As you can see, if you look, the sun is about to go down. So that took a while, but it's so worth it. Now I have four delicious sauces, two kinds of hemp milk that I can use throughout the week for whatever recipes that I want. When you need a quick meal, something simple, nutritious, and delicious, you already have some sauces made now with the cheese sauce I'm planning on using that for macaroni and cheese so there are a few other ingredients that I want to add to it and so I'll heat that at the time of cooking when I put it in the oven which is why I did not cook it yet so that'll be for another video I'll show you how I make my macaroni and cheese when I make it sometime this week but other than that that's it for now let me know in the comment section below which one of these recipes seems the most appealing to you and which one do you plan on trying this week hopefully all of them but as always smash that like button thank you so much for watching share this video with someone that you know needs it everyone loves delicious food so share this video with at least two people and let them know you found some simple quick delicious sauce recipes okay that's it for this video, family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Did you know I picked out a video just for you? Really, I did. 
I put it right here. Click it. Click it right now so you can check it out just for you.